Yeah, there's no chance I can record this at the same time. <laughs> it just jumped all the way up, dude, the, the CPU usage. It went from like 30, 40% to 92, so the stream's going to get super laggy if we do that. We'll just download the VOD from YouTube afterwards and edit that. That'll be fine. I already have Culture 3 pulled up here. Artwork is trash. <laughs> I do have to say this. The artwork is just ridiculous, dude. This is not... This is not fire. This artwork is... Um, they look like conjoined triplets, you know? <laughs> I mean, whose idea was it to have the glasses blend into one another, too? Like, that's just... I don't know, man. That's not it. It would have been so much better if it, literally the same thing, but just three separate heads, you know? Three separate heads with the necklaces, with their photos on it. Like, that would look way better. You know what I mean? That would look way better to just have three separate heads as if they were like busts you know what i mean like the you know those sculptures that are like from here up just three of those it would look clean nice but they had to go in um you know the fan made covers are better than the original <laughs> all right let's get it man track one avalanche let's just get to it dude it's taking up too much of your time i agree the cover is trash I already like the sax. Wait, this is actually fire right now. No, wait, this sounds... This sounds really classic right now, man. Oh, I think I paused it right at the drop, too. Let's go. Yo, the instruments on this are really crazy. The horns, the strings, those jazzy keys are everything, bro. I love this fusion of like jazz and trap. This is an eight out of 10 song. I, I agree, yeah, this is a great intro actually. Uh, yeah, I heavily agree that this is like an eight out of 10, you know, intro. Um, although to say that it's an eight out of 10, I mean, why isn't it a 10 out of 10? What's wrong with that track? That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to think of right now, you know? Because honestly, the beat's awesome. I love the jazzy infusions with the, the horns, the rhythm guitars, the really soulful keys, the strings with the trap drums. Like, that's just always a W, in my opinion. Their performances are great. They're energetic. They're charismatic. Their flows are nice. I mean, I'm going to say that it's an 8 out of 10 because it took a little too long to finally drop the bass. Um, and because some of their bars are, are corny, like the one that Jay pointed out. I fuck with my stick in the bed. That's, you know, not, not it, you know? So yeah, I can see an eight, maybe a nine out of 10, honestly, but that is a fantastic introduction is what I'm trying to say really, is that there's very few things wrong with it, at least in my opinion. And like I said, it made it onto my Patreon playlist and my workout playlist. That's going to go crazy in the gym. Straighten, which has almost 30 million streams. I'm expecting this to be an insane track. We gone. Stop. I feel like I know these flutes. Where do I know these flutes from? Does this sample slippery? Straightened by Migos sampled Cardi B featuring Migos. Drip. Drip is the... Yeah, it's drip. I recognize the sample. I knew that it was another Migos sample. This flute is the sample from drip, yeah. Where is it? It makes sense for them to sample that flute because it's, you know, it's a fire little melody. The beat dropped really hard too. I like this flow from Quavo, man. Running shit back, I just seen Tenet. That's fire. That's fire. <laughs> White like shady. Quavo humming in the background's fire, too. Oh my god, this flow he just came in with is already crazy. God damn, man. Offset came in possessed on that track, dude. Uh, that's a great track. Loving their energy on this. They they're definitely seem like they're hungry, right? They definitely seem like they're happy to be performing again. Um, 
My favorite verse on this one is definitely Offset, and then Take Off, and then Quavo. Quavo humming in the background, though, is really fire, and uh, I like the performance on the hook, too. But yeah, that one's just a banger, through and through, you know what I mean? That one definitely made it onto my playlist, Patreon playlist and the workout playlist. Can you imagine if this comes on when you're, like, I don't know, doing bicep curls? You're going to be <laughs> throwing the weights around? <laughs> oh, man, that's going to go crazy in the gym, dude. Type shit with Cardi B. Let's go. I will say that the melodies in the beat aren't as elaborate as some of the previous ones, really. It's just two chords. Um, with an organ it, it sounds fire but what's carrying this beat is definitely the drums and their energy right because the melodies are um, super simple I mean super simple is an understatement it's literally just two chords <laughs> so with beats like this they have to go extra hard is what I'm saying <laughs> whoa that's actually a bar, bro. My accountant thinks I'm gay. All I do is buy shit. That's a bar. Cardi B is nuts, dude. She's really going stupid. I'm rolling with this Kelly. Oh my god. She just stole the show from everybody, bro. Super impressive. That's that's an awesome Cardi B verse, dude. The hook is iffy. Mm. I'm not a fan of the hook, dude. But uh, Cardi B's verse and the production is just like... It's way more than enough to get this track onto my playlist, dude. Like, I, I will come back to that Cardi B verse. The byline is really creative. That's probably my favorite bar that she's ever spit, dude. This is very mid so far. I mean, the, I can see why you would say that. I, it really depends on what you're looking for. You know what I mean? Like, I'm here for energy and for beats the slap, honestly. Like, all I need is for them to be, just be energetic and have creative flows over, like, absolute bangers, and I'm good. Like, that's all I want from Migos. I'm not looking for, you know, anything more than that. So, because of that, I've been able to enjoy pretty much all of these tracks so far. I'm basic. I'm, I'm hunting for songs to put on my workout playlist is what I'm doing. Modern day, though. Is next. This is the modern day hoe. Last time I checked, we were running the globe. I'm too thick. You can't even see the pants on that bitch. Hey, we spinning, spinning in hell. Cats, I need to back in this way. Somebody packing this way. She get the club in that way. Yeah, the background sound in this beat is insane. It's just a synth, but it's super creative. It sounds like there's a like a choir sample in the background, too. That's really cool. The way he switched up his performance right here is fire. That track is dumb hard. I think I would have liked the album more if I listened to it on nice headphones instead of old Honda Civic speakers. <laughs> Maybe so, man. Maybe so. This beat's absolutely stupid, dude. Uh, I'm loving the synths. The chirpy, plucky kind of synths in the background are awesome. The glitchy sounding ones, you know what I mean. It also sounds like there's like a, a choir sample in here uh, that's chopped up that sounds really cool too. I'm not certain though about that one, but it, I, I think I can hear that. But the 808 and the drums, they just go so hard and they absolutely kill their verses. They really do. I think Quavo's was really impressive, though, because he was, like, starting it off, and he just came in with a whole lot of energy. That was cool. Let's go under Roadrunner. The 808 slides are really cool. Zaytoven is just different, bro. Hear the little bell, subtle keys, bouncy perks, fire hats, the horns, the strings, the hits. Come on, man. That's Zaytoven. Let's go. Yeah. See, Future should have been on this. 
Zaytoven's just not human, you know? Those strings in the background are everything, bro. Come on. This isn't Murder Beats, bro. You know what I mean? This is Zaytoven. Just cooling? How you doing, bro? I didn't even notice this track was over four minutes long. This just went, this flew by, honestly. I kind of wanted more auto-tune Quavo on this album. I think he's doing okay um, so far, honestly. We're, we're over halfway through at this point. I'm, I've been actually surprised with Quavo and his energy, his performance. I think he's stepping it up a little bit. My favorite song so far, Roadrunner um, might be it. Cardi B's verse on type shit is probably the best feature on here so far. Avalanche might be my favorite track though so far like the intro it was just like such a great moment honestly like this is the one that I wish future was featured on and it also has me thinking uh we have about nine tracks left is there any track here that's produced by Metro because Migos and Metro gotta work together more often man time for me is track 17 let's go three tracks left pick things up guys I want us to end on a high note come on it's definitely reassuring that I'm just, I'm not tripping because I see that a lot of people in the chat are agreeing with me. So I don't feel like I'm wrong for not enjoying those last three tracks. <laughs> Ian, that's a great take. Yeah, this one sounds kind of wavy. Where's the Chris Brown feature? I think they want, they want the streams. The reason I say that they want the streams is because Culture, the first one, was 13 tracks long. Culture, the first one, was fire, and it was 13 tracks. Short and sweet, dude. This is the first solid song, though, in the out of the last four. I'll add this one to my playlist. I'm down to listen to this again. They gotta split the bread three ways. That's true. That's true, but then again, most of their money comes from touring anyways. This is where the Drake feature should go. Exactly, yeah. Late night driving track. This is pretty smooth. If we got no guidance Drake on this, it would have been one of the best tracks on the project because no guidance is one of my favorite Drake, tra Drake songs. And it's a Chris Brown track, you know? It's not even a Drake song, but Drake... I mean... <laughs> just murder beats killed that one man um my love for drake has kind of fallen off but i have hope for certified lover boy have you heard some of the unreleased stuff that's on uh, youtube it's sounding crazy if that's the stuff that's not making it onto the album i can't wait to hear what does make it on there man uh this is a very unexpected vibe for migos honestly this this kind of slow r&b kind of sort like vibe but you know they, they did a great job on this one i wasn't expecting it but i'm definitely not mad that we got it i think it's Probably my favorite track out of the last four that we've heard. Last two tracks. This one's featuring Pop Smoke, and then the last one's featuring NBA Youngboy. Can't wait to hear Pop Smoke on this, man. Those 808 slides get anybody moving, bro. Let's go. <laughs> These little synths that just came in are great. Pop Smoke just has the charisma, man. He has the voice, the presence. Yeah, he was so special, man. We're back, we're back, we're good. Alright, I think we should be good to play this last track and not get taken down. Hopefully.
closing it out very strong. That's nice. I like the production on Need It, man. Uh, it's got kind of like a get rich or die trying kind of vibe to the production, right? It's, you know, got a really classic early 2000s sort of a feeling to it. I think they did a good job, you know, to be honest. It's not one of my favorite tracks, but it's definitely not one that I would skip at all. Really fun. Definitely a fun song. I would describe it that way. Culture 3, dude. Um, off the bat, better than Culture 2. Less bloated, less throwaway tracks. You know, things feel a little bit more intentional, a little bit better organized this time around. Of the trilogy, second best behind the first culture. That said, it still does feel a little bloated, man. 19 songs still feels like it's a little too much here. Okay, so um, tracks like Why Not, Mahomes, Handle My Business could have been thrown away. Tracks like, um, let's see, Birthday, not really necessary. Picasso could have been better in my opinion, could have had a different beat on it, you know. So right there, we just got rid of, what, five, six tracks? That would have left this album at 13 songs. And I'm not even done saying the tracks that could have been left off, you know what I mean? So if this were 10 to 13, maybe 15 songs, that would have been, you know, that would have been perfect. All in all, man, uh, an enjoyable experience, a fun listen, albeit a long one. I'm glad that I did it live so that I had the, you know, people to talk to, the chat. I had the immediate interaction. It's nice to see what other people think of the music as I listen to it as well. Definitely going to do this again with other albums. Um, I don't think I would have had as much fun listening to this by myself, staring at this wall in front of me. You know what I mean? So thank you to everybody who showed up to the stream and, you know, hung out with me today. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the support for the channel. Thank you to everyone who subscribed today. If you're new, subscribe. Follow my social media. I really appreciate you guys, man. I will see you guys later. Until then, though, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Peace out, guys.